All right. All right, hello class. We actually have a really easy, it should be a pretty quick lesson today. Um, so it's classwork 6.4, describing association. Association between two numerical variables can be described by its strength, direction, form, and outliers. So the first one is strength. Strength is a description of how much scatter there is in the data away from the line of best fit. So if you look at our examples down below here, this one has a strong strength because almost every point is exactly right on the line of best fit. I mean, it fits that data really strongly. In a moderate strength, we can see that it definitely has the general trend of going down, but not every point is exactly right on the line. And a weak strength would be one that still has definitely the correlation. You can tell this is going up, um, but it's the data is really spread out. It's not close to the line at all. And then you have no association when there is no strength whatsoever. I can't tell if it's going up. I can't tell if it's going down. The next thing we have to look at is the shape. The shape of the pattern is called the form of the association. The form can be linear or nonlinear. We'll be studying linear associations in this unit. So once again, we can say that this has a linear shape or a linear form because it forms the pattern of a line. Forms the pattern of a line, so it's linear. Forms the pattern of a line, so it's linear. Once again, no association. It doesn't form a line. It's just it's very, very scattered. Next thing, if one variable increases while the other variable increases, the direction is said to be a positive association. If one variable increases while the other variable decreases, the direction is said to be a negative association. If there is no apparent pattern in the scatter plot, then the variable has no association. Okay. So we can see that this has a negative association because as this is going down, this is getting bigger. So one is decreasing and one is increasing. Also think of it as the slope. The slope of this line would be negative, so it's a negative association. This one is also negative. As this one decreases, as we go down, this one is increasing, getting bigger. Negative association. This one is the opposite. This one is a positive association. As this variable increases, this one is also increasing. Once again, has a positive slope. And then our no association, it's not going down, it's not going up, it's just very scattered. So we say it has no association. And the last piece of information is an outlier. An outlier is a piece of data that does not fit the overall pattern. And we'll talk about more outliers a little bit later. I'm looking at my four examples here. There's not really any outlier. Maybe this one would be an outlier, um, but I, I don't even think that is. I think that fits the data. It's just a little bit more spread out than the rest. Um, but we'll look at a couple of outliers later on in our examples. All right, so if we go down to the examples, Question number one says, draw a line of best fit on each of the scatter plots shown below, then describe the association of each picture below. Include the strength, the direction, and the form. So remember your line of best fit. Um, usually what I do is I pick two dots, and then I try and pick the two dots that most clearly represent the association. So for example, in this first one, if I pick these two outside dots here, do you think that this is a very good representation of the data? Probably not. So we wanna pick two dots that more clearly represent the data. Um, I'd say maybe this one right here and that one so that we can draw a line straight through right there and that clearly represents the data. So let's describe this scatter plot and the association. Do you think this is a strong, a moderate, or a weak strength? I'm going to say moderate. Let's talk about the form or the shape. Do you think this forms a line or does it not form a line? I would say it forms a line. And then is this a negative association, positive association, or no association? Look, as one is decreasing, the other one is increasing. So we've got a negative association, 
um, also notice that my line is a slope. So negative association. And that is all we have to do for each one. All right, for number two, what do you think is the strength, the shape, and the direction of each of these? Um, if you said no association for each of them, I would agree. We can't really tell that there is any type of association between this data. Right? I can't tell if it's positive, I can't tell if it's negative, um, I can't tell if it's linear, it's just very, very scattered. And anytime it's very, very scattered, that means there's gonna be no association. And if we look at what the table is saying, we've got auto accidents and auto body color. Um, there probably makes sense that there's no association between the color of your car and the amount of accidents you get into. And the last one, um, we've got auto accidents on the Y and auto insurance cost. Um, go ahead and tell me what you think the shape is, the strength is, and the direction. All right, so first we've got to draw that line of best fit. I'm going to go right through here. Okay, there's my line of best fit. I'm going to say this is moderate. Although if you said strong, I don't think you're far off. Um, if you did say it was weak, I would say that's probably not correct. So moderate, uh, it does form the pattern of a line. So it's a linear. And then this one's going to be a positive association because it has a positive slope. All right, go ahead and flip it over and start the next video.